Hi, this is Derivatives 11, and what I'm going to be talking about is hyperbolic functions, uh, a few identities of hyperbolic functions, and also their derivatives. But uh, first, let's start off with what we know. We know that uh, sine x, or the basic trig functions, are all based off of basic trig functions, trig functions, functions, are based off of a circle. And one point I just want to make is that hyperbolic trig functions are no longer based off of uh, a circle. But they're based off of a hyperbola. Which is kind of to be expected, considering the name. So let's start off. We have uh, let's just define what these each of them are. You'll have sine h of x, which will actually equal e to the x power minus e to the negative x power all over two. Similarly, cosine h x equals e to the x power plus e to the negative x power all over two. Now those are the only two that you really need to memorize. The following ones are all just referring to those initial two, which actually makes life a little bit easier for us because there's so many exceptions or just just uh, subtle changes between hyperbola and the original trig function identities. So they actually kind of give us a break here. Uh, you have cosecant h, just going to just 1 over sine h x, you'll have secant h of x, which is going to equal 1 over cosine h of x. This is all very similar to what it was in regular trig. Cotan h equals just the opposite, or the inverse of tangent. h of x. Great. So, just important to remember that those are based off a of hyperbola, not a circle. So let's work over a few identities since they're based off of a hyperbola and not a circle. There is a few subtle differences, so I just wanted to make a point of that. Let's start off with sine h of, uh, how about negative x? Well, that will equal negative sine h of x. I remember that. That's not different. How about this one? Cosine h of x, negative x, sorry, equals cosine h of x. Absolutely no sign change. This is unique when you're comparing it to the circle system, this hyperbola system does not switch when you have a negative inside the parentheses. Let's go on to the next one. Cosine h squared x minus sine h squared x equals 1. That's different. And you'll notice a lot of difference, differences between the two. That's why I just wanted to make a point of it. 1 minus tan h squared x equals secant squared x. And final two that I can remember are just the additive ones. Um, this one, for example, sine hx uh, of x plus y equals sine hx cosine h y plus cosine h x sine h y. Notice it's just a pattern. It goes sine x cosine y cosine x sine y. Just a pattern. Uh, with cosine the pattern is much simpler. And there is no um, 
there are tabulated results for a negative, uh, like a subtraction in there. However, it's kind of redundant because you could just subtract a negative, right? So there's real no point in memorizing more than you have to. And you asked me, and I delivered. Much simpler. Cosine hx, cosine hy, plus sine hx, sine hy. And actually, saying sine h is not really the proper way of saying it. You should say hyperbolic sine. But, uh, you know, what, are, what can I say? I'm a simpleton. So, uh, let's rock over to the derivatives of them. And basically, I'm just going to hit these up real quick so that we can... Uh, get to some examples, but b over dx of sine h x is going to equal quite simply cosine h x. Well, that that was pretty similar, right? How about d over dx of cosine h x? That just equals sine sine h x. Notice there was no sign change. Yes, things are much different in hyperbolic system. Let's continue. d over dx of tan hx. That equals secant h squared x. And let's finish up with the, the odd 3. d over dx of cosecant hx which equals negative cosecant hx cotangent hx d over dx of secant secant hx equals negative secant hx tangent hx and then we can finish up with the last one tan hx which will equal just a simple negative cosecant h squared x now I know all this looks really complex and uh, let me tell you uh, you need I'm gonna say it real slow you need to write these down. The one that you probably need to memorize is the cosecant, how it doesn't, or I mean not the cosecant, the cosine, because it doesn't switch sine uh, when you do the derivative, but in reality you probably are going to have to have a sheet of paper with these results in front of you to simplify it. And actually that that's that's exactly why they did this, so that they could get further into the, the natural logs, the e to the x's, and the trigonometry involved with hyperbola. So uh, I encourage you to go to the, the final section and the final uh, list of examples, and I'll see you guys in the next video.